Hi, this is Ian Thompson, and today I'm going to be doing my weekly market report from the shores of Westwood Lake. As you can tell, there's a bit of rain right now, but it's a great place here at Westwood Lake. If you haven't been out here and you're new in Nanaimo, this is the place to come. It's a man-made lake. It takes about an hour to go around. Awesome swimming in the summer, which is important, of course, with COVID going on. Not a lot of swimming pools open, basically none. So this is a place people are swimming here already. Anyways, today I want to talk about uh, the BCREA housing forecast, which just came out yesterday. And they're talking about what they expect is going to happen uh, for the balance of this year and into 2021. So first of all, they talk about sales being uh, off, as we know, in the early spring here to unprecedented low levels. But they are forecasting uh, BCMLS sales will fall 21% this year to 60,000 units and then a strong recovery to 84,000 units in 2021. So it's good news as we look that way. And they talk about why is that going to be happening? And they're saying, of course, uh, low inventory levels. That's what you hear all across British Columbia, frankly, all across Canada, that there just aren't enough homes on the market for sale. Super low interest rates. They think the average price is gonna go up this year by about 1.8%, and then next year, a further 5.6%. Some other thoughts they thought on the economic uh, outlook. Uh, right now, of course, it's tough. Lots of people are working less. They're talking about uh, hours worked across the province are down about 20%. So even though businesses are opening up, they're not going back to as many hours as they had been before. And a lot of those people are still unemployed. So that's typically, of course, a concern. And we hope that's going to improve going forward. Uh, some of the things they're talking about, trade is in decline. They are seeing the BC economy will contract by 6% in 2020. And uh, most of that's going to happen right now in the spring and early summer months and then pick up again. And they looked at some historical numbers and they say that uh, the housing sector often leads recovery during uh, recessions and economic downtime. So that's good news. What can we look at for the island and the coast specifically? Um, they talk about Vancouver on the board will likely see a decline of 20% this year. That's units sold before bouncing back by up to 40% in 2021 which is quite a bit. And then how much do we expect to see for individual categories of housing? Now for the Vancouver Island Real Estate Board, that is Duncan all the way uh, to the north end of the island. They're talking about single family uh, home sales, about 5,000 uh, homes detached selling, which is down about 8%. That's what happened in 2019. 2020, 4,000 down 20% and 2021, 5,800, which is up 45%. So quite a big rebound for next year. And same thing with uh, average price. Uh, last year, 2019 was 565. This year, they're saying 585, up 3%, even with the lower volume. And that's because there isn't a lot of inventory around. And then next year, up about 2.6% to an average of $600,000. That would be throughout the Vancouver Island Real Estate Board. This is a great report. If you like a copy, just shoot me an email, uh, ian at ianthompsonrealestate.com, and I'd be happy to uh, send it to you. Well, that's it for now. Have a great day. Of course, your situation is unique. Call or text me, 250-616-3641.